Ernest, <laughs> uh, can you move those move the lights apart? Because I know you can see well. It's pretty bright. Yeah, so that they're not in the camera. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Tough crowd. <laughs> now, Ken. All right. It says use the integral test to determine the convergence or divergence of the P series, and then it has a P series here. From n equals 1 to infinity of 1 over n to the fifth. Well, what you should realize right off the bat, a P series where P is greater than 1 converges. So this one definitely converges without doing a heck of a lot. Okay, That difference in degrees, the little trick that I gave you, is very helpful for a lot of these problems. Okay, it enables you to just look at them and determine whether they converge or diverge. However, having said that, however, wait, how come it says wrong here and then right here? Because there, you, so you need to write something in that there. Oh. It's like two parts. Oh, okay. All right. Well, however, it does say to use the integral test, so I'm going to use the integral test. I'm going to do what it says. Okay. So here's the integral test. The integral test has to do the following. Take the limit as b goes to infinity from 1 to b of x, 1 over x to the fifth, or x to the negative fifth dx. Is that what you had to do, is write in the, uh, the integral test? OK, I'm not sure what you had to do. But if that, that would be a logical thing for you to do, was to, to put in this. This is using the integral test to determine the convergence or divergence of that series. And what do you do? You do the integral, add 1, and divide from 1 to b. I would rewrite this. Um, I, would, I would make it, put this down below here. So you get a negative 1 over 4x to the fourth from 1 to b. I think it's just easier to see what's going on if you do that. And that's the limit as b goes to infinity. Put in a b. Minus, minus, plus. Put in a 1. Okay. Now, as b goes to infinity, b to the fourth is going to go to infinity. But its reciprocal, 1 over that, will go to 0. As the denominator increases without bound, that thing will go right to 0. Okay? So, oh, so how close is 0? That gets arbitrarily close to zero. That limit is one-fourth. Because that limit is one-fourth, because it exists, the integral test says that series converges. Now, does it mean the sum of that series is one-fourth? No, it does not mean that. But it does mean it does have a sum. OK? That's it? Okay, any other questions at all? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Um, it's another integral test. Okay. It's confirmed that the integral test can be applied to the series. Then use the integral test to, con to determine the convergence or divergence. Hey, Daniel. Uh, for the sum, n equals 1 to infinity, 12n over 6n squared plus 1. 12n over 6n squared plus 1? Yeah. Okay. That's it right there. All right, let's take a look. First of all, what you should realize is without doing anything at all except checking difference in degrees, difference in degree is 1, insufficient to cause convergence, this series will diverge. This is a diverging series. That's what you're going to have to do in the test, say that this series diverges, OK? Because the degree is larger on the, in the denominator? Yeah, this is greater than this, all right? That has to be the case. But the difference has to be greater than 1. And this difference is equal to 1, not good enough. OK? This series will diverge. Now, could we prove it with the integral test? Let's, that's what they're asking you to do. Let's do it. Use the integral test on this. We're going to take the limit as b goes to infinity, 1 to b, uh, 12x over 6x squared plus 1. Basically, you just take the expression here and express it in terms of x. Hi. If you plop them right down in the pile out there on the floor, 
That's it. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, so that's what you have. Um, so let's do it. We can do the integral all right. It's kind of nice. What form is this integral? That's exactly what it is. It's 1 over u d u form. u is equal to 6x squared plus 1. The du is 12x dx. <laughs> they gave it to you. The 12x dx is kind of nice. So it's 1 over u du. Integral of 1 over u du is natural log. You don't need an absolute value here because 6n squared plus 1 is positive. I'm just going to put 6n squared plus 6x squared plus 1. Okay, from 1 to b. Okay. It's 1 over u du. The integral of 1 over u is the natural log of u. It's a natural log form. Substitute in b. Okay, and then substitute in uh, a 1 you get natural log of 2. We don't care about that. Here's what we care about. As b goes to infinity, 6b squared plus 1 will increase without bound. And its natural log will also increase without bound. All right? Given that, this goes to infinity. The integral diverges. Therefore, the series diverges as well, which we knew from the beginning. Yes? I don't get the log part. Yeah. The one over you part. Okay. Here, let's, let's take a look at this integral. u is 6x squared plus 1. The du is 12x dx. Well, we have it right there. So when I make this replacement, I've got 1 over u du. This is 1 over u, and this part right here is the du. Okay, that's what it is, without doing anything. I don't have to multiply by anything. I have it right there. They gave us the 12x, okay? So I didn't have to multiply by anything to get to the 12x. So 1 over u du, what's the integral of 1 over u du? It's natural log. Yep. Since it goes to 1, right? Doesn't it go to 1? What goes to 1? Um, 6, 6 infinity, that, oh, it goes to infinity. Yes, it does. Oh, okay. Yep. And, si and since this one goes to infinity, its natural log is going to go to infinity as well. Mm. Okay, just because that goes into Yes. Okay. okay. Any other questions at all? Mm. Can we just like repeat last class? <laughs> <laughs> you actually, okay. you know what you can do? <laughs> on that thing, you can actually, Sorry. you actually can play the video from last time because the file is on there. The whole class, if you want. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> but what you can do is if it's not on, the internet, you can copy it right onto your... That's what I'm going to do. Wait, but you don't have... Oh. I'll get oh, yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Drive, get so we'll get it. Okay. We'll get it. We'll get it. All right. Any other questions at all? I got a CD RAM. <laughs> okay. All right. See Oreos. Anybody else? <laughs> okay. Right. Be appreciative. There's... There's what, more than what, what, um, part are we, on? we are on um, nine. Well, this is the homework, but we're on nine. I don't know what sections we're on now. Uh, we're going to do ratio test, root test, and that's like nine, five, or six, or something. Yeah, yeah. and then we're going to do uh, power series. That's nine, eight, or nine, nine. We're going to skip over McLaurin series for tonight. And I'm going to finish with them on uh, Monday. Right. The test is a week from Monday. Yeah. We're going to be done on Monday. We'll be done with this chapter. Wait, Tuesday, right? Tuesday, Tuesday, correct. Tuesday. Oh, do we have a class on Wednesday, or what's happening with that? What's happening next week? Next week, we will be Tuesday and Thursday. Okay. Yeah. What? The day classes are doing something like oh, yeah, that, but this, but the night classes, the Tuesday night is a Monday night. Wait, the day classes are on a Wednesday. 
Monday schedule's on the Wednesday or Friday of that week because the, because the labs, you have to read their calendar. There's, there's a, most people, it doesn't affect them at all. But if you do have a lab on Monday during the day or Wednesday during the day, it could possibly affect you. So check that out. Otherwise, it doesn't affect you at all. So if I, have I don't have recitation on, I have recitation on uh, Wednesdays, that means I won't have it. You probably won't, although check your schedule. Okay, check the calendar. Well, next Wednesday? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's a Monday schedule or not. I'm not sure. Well, Is no, it, it can't be. Because Monday's be like a special day. Patriot's Day. I know, but they're saying, since we missed so many Mondays in the beginning, they're trying to make up for it. So they're saying uh, that Wednesday schedule, run a Monday schedule. So that way, if you have a lab on Monday that hasn't met in the beginning, didn't meet for a bunch of times in the beginning, you'll hopefully make it up. You know, but you should check. Westfield State doesn't have that at all. I'm in Westfield State, too. They don't have anything. They just have it. If you missed that Monday, you missed that Monday. Wow. Well, I like that one. Whatever. I don't like this class. Switch day <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Okay. All right, you guys ready? No. Ooh. Let's go on. We got a couple more series tests to consider. Okay. Are these again to divert your time to convert? Yep. 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 First one is a very important one. It's called the ratio test. It's actually called the ratio test for absolute convergence. Hmm? Can you zoom in a little bit? Uh, you can't. Yes, stop recording. <laughs>